So, there's supposedly a winner of the great big race. Wait till you see what happens next. Wait until you see what happens next. <laughs> Just say, I have a feeling this isn't over. <laughs> that's, well, that's all I'm going to say to people who want to talk about it to me. I have a feeling, I have a hunch, this isn't over. So, extreme gratitude right now in this moment for living during this period of time um, the there's a, an expression um, in in some Asian culture may you live in interesting times and we do and remember Ram Das in Girly Baba be in the world but not of the world in the world, not of the world. Remember, zooming in and zooming out. So when my dog was being put down in my arms because he was suffering, and I held Cato, and this woman came to um, help him pass, and I gave him a bucket of, you know, pasta and bacon and I just held him and loved him and petted him and I was as present as possible and I zoomed in as Cato's mom I zoomed in as this dog owner meanwhile this is a soul in a dog meat suit and I'm a soul in a human meat suit but I zoomed in right there on the porch and I loved him loved him loved him using that moment to buy into the, the story that I'm a person, body, mind, complex, and I cried and I enjoyed my, I enjoyed my grief, I enjoyed my attachment to this animal that's 18 plus years old, you know, that I've had for 15 plus years. <sighs> How lucky. I was to have this animal live this long and to have this loyal peeing on everything but still awesome little dog just living this time and just everything okay so when I start moving into the new material I'm gonna be um, I need a I need a chalkboard or like a whiteboard or something uh, to show you how to look at the moment and expand the moment into blocks and then use your um, creative aspect to fill those blocks. I know it's very confusing now. I'm very excited about it, but I really do need to draw stuff. But for right now, in this moment, if your vibration is down because maybe um, this popularity contest, this race is quote unquote over, I know that's the uh, that's the story, right? The story is that the race is over, and there's this there's this quote unquote clear winner. So, uh, and we're supposed to believe that 104 percent of eligible voters is is okay. That's passable, and 120,000 votes in a row for one person is that's completely real and that there's no vote switching software happening and you know what I'm saying there's a lot wait a, <laughs> if your vibration is down zoom out as if you're not living now you can zoom up zoom out and go to you know heaven's waiting room that room of light we've done in a meditation bring yourself relief and then when you're ready come back so if you're having trouble meditating and you want to meditate if you're having trouble meditating because you're buying into the real world the quote-unquote real physical world zoom out 
you another thing you can try um and do another thing you can do is i had i had a client that uh, i really i don't know if i can even help this person i i help them but their mind just keeps going back to um well whatever i'll tell you how i how i didn't help this person when they had cancer numbers, I answered the phone all the time. I made them a priority. And when the cancer numbers were gone, so that there, it appeared to have no cancer in the body, I let the phone call go to voicemail. I treated them like um, a normal client. I didn't give special treatment. I, I, and so, that was my mistake as a healer, as a human. And my friend told me, remember, I, you know, I, I asked a question and, and my friend was smart enough to answer it better. He said, remember that, he said, knowing you, you have enough energy for all your clients, that I, you love them and all that. Remember that the people that you need to hold strong boundaries with, they need it more than you need it because you probably have the energy to deal. But they need you. They need you to hold the boundaries more than you need to hold the boundaries for yourself. And he's right. He's right. Because, anyway, this person, uh, the client that... I'm just going to keep helping doing what I can do. I'm just going to do what I can do. But I've got to hold a nice boundary there for myself, my family, and for the client too. Um, they kept thinking because they understand metaphysical concepts. I already know that. I already know that. I already know that. And Anim Karol Ababa actually got a little, not frustrated, but yeah, a little frustrated. Um, when we were talking about the ego and, and he, this client was like, I already know that. And Neem Crowley Bob said, if you already knew what you think you know, then you'd be able to stand there while someone put a knife into you and, you know, created a situation. Oh my God. People try. <laughs> People try with masks on. All right. I bless you. Um, in the car by themselves, window open with a mask on. You know, I just want to say really fast. It's not that I've given up on humanity, but it's not completely like I haven't given up on humanity. And I want to say it's not a bad thing to do to give up on humanity and say, well, I've only got 70 years left and I'm going to enjoy my life because I see these people, honestly, in these little tiny smart cars with a mask on, and they think they're doing everything right. And they're the normies. They're the useful idiots of Agenda 21. And um, and it's okay, but you're not. I we're not going to have an effect on them. There's no effect to be had. They're not going to change their mind. They do everything they're told to do. Just like the 10 bikers not wearing masks, and carrying guns, 10 freedom loving, empowered, grateful to be United States citizens, grateful for the Second Amendment, grateful for the Constitution. You know, 900 vibration. Um, those people are harder to control than 2,000 normies in a fear vibration with their little masks on, driving their little smart cars, staying in their houses all the time, as long as, you know, Don Lemon, Chris Cuomo is telling them to. They're hating all the right people to be seen as loving, even though that's insane. But their vibration is not high enough to support logical thinking. They are in the way of the new paradigm. So it's a very interesting time to be alive. You know, but anyway, I digress. Enjoy your life. 
Um, don't worry about the normies. The normies are calling people normies. Joy Behar talks about the useful idiots as if she's not one. <laughs> she's, she is, she's part of that whole brigade, the whole. But the reason they're useful idiots is because they don't know they're pushing what they're pushing. They have no idea. They're pushing for this utopia that's actually a dystopian nightmare. They think it's this utopian dream. And, and, and they're the first ones killed because when it happens, you know, in the story. So I don't know. Is it going to happen? I don't know. But I, but it's happening. They've done it. They've got these people hating to be, to be seen as loving, fighting for peace, pushing a dystopian nightmare. Uh, whatever. That's just where we are. What are you going to do? Stop them? How? How can you stop people? How can you stop people with free will? Come on. Come on, man. That's malarkey. That's what that is. Anyway, we will see. But you got to protect your own vibration. And it's okay if you want to give up on humanity. Stop trying. Stop trying. Just be. Just be 900. Freedom. Gratitude. Empowered. You've got to respect the free will choices of all the normies and all the useful idiots. There's no other way. There's nothing for you to do. Just be. Just be because you don't have forever. You know? You don't have forever. Enjoy your life. You don't owe anybody. You don't owe me. You can ignore me completely. Oh, and I start wearing a turtleneck. You don't have to wear a mask. You go like this. And then as it slides down, <laughs> you can either fix it or not. All right. We're, this is, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. We'll really see what happens next. So, anyway. Don't sweat it. The old paradigm's got a break. It's, it's, you know, it, the, um, the way stuff was, people were holding it in place by believing in the two party system, by believing in the news, by believing, 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 believing every day they woke up and it's normal and this is normal and this is normal and this is normal and this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. They're higher vibrations. They're decent vibrations, you know, cause before this president was elected, people thought everything was normal between the two parties, switching back, switching back, back and forth. Um, two party system, that's normal. They were fine with it. It's total, it makes total sense. <laughs> um, yeah, it makes sense of, you know, hundreds of millions of people. That fits so neatly into two, two categories that are polar opposites, huh? Hmm. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? <laughs> that you take something as creative as a human being, that their second chakra is about creativity. <laughs> and, and they miraculously fit into just two different ways of being, like, governed. That makes so much sense. Anyway, so when it made sense to them, they were living in a higher vibrations of, you know, reasons 400, 500's love. And if you notice, it was, things were always more peaceful when there was a Democrat in the White House. That's not because Democrats were there. It just, it's just because conservative minds tend to just go on with their lives and like deal with things deal with whatever's happening like more rationally more um peacefully so conservative minds are generally more peaceful left left is not peaceful that's not horrible um you know 
there's been leftists that have helped me uh, understand about plastic bags and plastic water bottles and uh, hound rescues, you know, changed my life. I mean, it would have been nice if they were nicer about it, but you know, they still gave me right, correct information. Too bad they had to yell at me, but I didn't know. And then they told me. Same with some other things that I'm not gonna mention. So, you know, we all have a different part of the elephant that we're touching. And you need both sides. You need both kinds. You need um, conservative and liberal. Most of us are a mix of conservative about some things, liberal about other things. Um, just like we all have male, female, male and female energy. It's okay if you want to give up on humanity right now, though. Just be peace. Just, oh, so this client that I had a really hard, that Neem Crowley, Bob, and I have a hard time getting through to, because he thinks he already knows. And on um, some level, he does. He understands metaphysical concepts. He understands, but he won't emotionalize and internalize the information and change his behavior and change his mind to reflect what he knows. So he knows it on one level, and then there's a shell of the ego, and then who he really is and how he really thinks is inside there. So... He can spout this intelligent, wise, metaphysical knowledge all day long, but he's not a product. He himself is not a product of that information, of that knowledge. So he can say it, he can speak it, he can talk about it 360 degrees, but he's not living it. So one thing that during one of the healings, he said, um, lay on the table and imagine you only have three minutes left to live. You knew you were going to die in three minutes. And when I, and we, when I said that, he just relaxed. It's like, there's no phone calls to make. You're not going to balance your checkbook. You're not going to do anything. You're just going to be in your body. Lay in your body, relax your belly. You're only alive for three more minutes. And then I counted down the minutes. It was actually a really cool exercise to see how he could relax himself more and more and more. So the trying is not doing. And when you are worried about the, you know, you're worried about people, you're worried about humanity. I totally understand. I did that as a kid. I did that as a child. And then when I went through some stuff, I was like, get me out of here. This place is fucking hell. Just get me out. Like now, now I'm not, you know, now I moved past that. Now I want to live to 120 years old. But the thing is, <sighs> relax. It's always the same. Relax and empower yourself. You know, even in the 80s, when there was no reason to empower yourself, there's always a reason to be empowered. To choose empowered choices. If you choose empowered choices and, and empowered thinking, your life's always going to go better than someone who chooses victim mindset, victim consciousness. Whether they're a victim or they're focusing on the victimhood of others, they're beating the drum of that. That's why there's really nothing you can do. Now, there's big things that are going to start happening. I mean, big things have already happened, obviously. We're like November 7th, maybe. 2020 and 2020 it ain't over yet it ain't over yet <laughs> just relax relax keep choosing peace you can do the three minutes on the table lay down three minutes left see what happens to you when you think you only have three minutes left to live your body relaxes there's nothing to do that's how you should be living all the time good one there's nothing to do be peace. Be light. Flood the world with light. Leave no one and nothing out. Light everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Through all things, all things, all things. Through the voting software. Through all the candidates. 
of any any election on anywhere on the planet. White, 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 white light, iridescent white light, golden light, whatever you want, highest, holiest, prime creator light, relax. We need the old paradigm to break down so that the, the children that have been hidden can be seen and the bones can be found. The earth is done with allowing this low vibrational behavior that's been it's been allowed to happen for a long time. Long, long time. And the earth is like, okay, done with this vibration, I'm moving up. And so the people who are, it's, you've got to relax. Look at the hate, holy crap. And look at the people hating. Look at them. They're, they, they just scream and scream and scream. You know, the women on The View are just some of the most hateful people. And then they just, you know, Whoopi Goldberg. I just hate the hate. I don't know where it's coming from. It's coming from you. You and your t-shirt with Trump's brains getting blown out. That's, it's coming from you. Joey Behar talking about useful idiots. And the normies. Talking about normies? Holy crap. You've got to just, you don't have to laugh at it, you know, as if it's a show. <sighs> because then you're watching it and where your, wherever your eyes go, wherever your mind goes, energy follows, then blood, then matter. You don't have to watch the show. If you're watching it, you're feeding it. If you're watching it and you're laughing at it, some of these, these late night, I can't even watch. I've seen parts, I've seen things. Oof, so much hate. Don Lemon with his whole Kanye West mother's rolling over in her grave. I was like, oh God, if anyone ever said that about my mother, what would I do? That's really despicable to me to say somebody's dead mother is rolling over. I mean, dead mothers should be off limits. Don't watch the show. Really, just relax. Find your own peace. Find your own highest vibration. Relax your belly. Spend all your time, whenever you think of it, in your mind, in your mind. I love you. Say your name. I love you. Like, I love you, Carla. I love you, Carla. I love you. I love you, Carla. I love you, Carla. I love you, Carla. If you're worried about somebody, you can say you love yourself, you love them. You love yourself, you love them. You love yourself, you love them. I remember when my mom was in the hospital with cancer, you know, all this cancer stuff. And we just, I just loved my mom, loved my mom, loved my mom, loved my mom. And I didn't, I wasn't in, you know, I wasn't in it. I wasn't loving myself while I was loving my mom. And then... It's just not the way to go. I don't want to share all that right now. But just love yourself right now. There is peace in every moment. I think there's a purple book by Eckhart Tolle. Stillness Speaks. There's an Eckhart Tolle book called Stillness Speaks. And I think it's purple. It used to be purple anyway. I read it a really long time ago. It's a very, very, like... So much heart, so gentle book. You don't have to read it like a normal book cover to cover. You can just open it up anywhere. E I think each page has its own thing. Stillness Speaks. It's a great uh, Christmas present if you want to give somebody a Christmas present. It's like, I don't think anybody can have an, a problem with it. It's not like a religion. You know, it doesn't speak against any religions or anything. But there is a stillness in every moment, no matter what's happening. And your peace that I guide you guys to, to the, in, the, in the meditations, when you get to your highest potential vibration, that's available to you all the time because it is you. It is you. Don't forget to zoom out if you get really grippy. Really like, oh, relax. Calm, 
center. Try and stay away from normies if you can, because it's going to get nuts. Find your peace. Find your peace in every moment. You totally got this. Love you. Let's just meditate for the last, like, let's do four, five, eight minute meditation. So feel your contact points, wherever you are. Hold your body, but hold it gently so that your head can shake to release resistance. Let your arms move, your neck move. Tap, yawn, burp. I'm grounded, I'm grounded, I'm grounded. See yourself sitting in the center of the highest, holiest source creator energy. See that bright white light and you're sitting in the very center of it and expand that white light. So it covers the entire earth and the entire earth's atmosphere. The earth is massive, but this white spotlight with your mind, my mind, good. Just relax your arms. Good. There's nothing to do, only to be. Relax your eyes, jaw, shoulders. Shoulders back and down. Relax your eyes, jaw. Shoulders, smiling face, big belly breathing. Relax your belly completely. Breathing in, fill your belly, big belly. Note the pause at the top. Exhale slowly through the mouth. Push your belly down, grounding, grounding, grounding. Enjoy that moment. Breathing in, big belly, breathing in through the nose. Note the pause at the top of the breath. Open to receive more white light, more, more, more. Thousand petal lotus at the top of your head. Receive more white light. Let that thousand petal lotus grow so that and open up so it's flat. Receive all that white light, good. Good, it's your job. It's my job to receive as much white light as possible. More, 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 relax, raise your vibration. Receiving from Prime Creator, relax your belly. Relax totally now, relax your whole body. You can lay down, relax. Breathing in through your nose, big belly. Smiling face. Open your crown, thousand petal, maybe more now, thousand petal lotus. Receiving all that light, relax, let it be easy. I receive abundance now. Exhale slowly through your mouth. Push your belly down, grounding, grounding, grounding. Let your head shake left, right. Resistance is leaving. Good, resistance is just leaving. Any movements your body makes, whether your head's shaking left or right or turning left or turning right, relax. Smiling face, let your body have permission to let go of everything now. Open to receive perfect healing. I open to receive perfect healing now. And so it is. My highest best is the highest best. Relax that belly. Good. Relax. Big belly. Relax. Relax more. Relax more. Let your head move. Let your head move. Good. Four and a half minutes more. Give yourself permission. Just to receive. Just receive all the light. All the abundance. Relax that belly. Relax. If your ego needs words, just give it, I am. That's it. Relax the belly, smiling face, I am. Anything you try and fill in after that diminishes what you are. Good, good. Relaxing, raising the vibration. You can see numbers now. 
500, 540, 600 is peace. Good. Now, going for 900 freedom, gratitude, and empowerment. So just think yourself up to 900. Alexa the belly, 900, 900, 900, 900. However it comes to you in the right cadence, relax the shoulders, nothing to do. Just being 900 or higher. Setting the intention and allowing my vibration to rise to 900 or 1,000. Relax. 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 Smiling face. Get excited. Way to see what's coming next. Good. Where do your hands want to be? Relax your mind now. The body's relaxed now. We've relaxed the mind. My body's not me, it's mind to use. My mind is not me, it's mind to use. This body-mind complex is a person named. Good, relax your whole body. But that is not what I am. I am Brahman. I am Brahman. Relax the belly. I am Brahman. See your mind now splitting into four beautiful, functional aspects. Your memory, allow the universal divine healing energy to wash through the memory. Leaving the memories, removing and healing the emotional triggers now. Simultaneously, divine healing energy washing through the intellect. Washing through the intellect. Simultaneously, washing through and healing and clearing the thinking and contemplating aspect of the mind. Those three continue to receive healing as you say no thank you to the ego. Kill the ego. Relax, kill the ego. Blow it away, put it on a boat, send it down the river, put it in a bubble. I kill my ego now. I am, and so it is, I am. I love you. Find your peace in every moment. Love you tons and tons and tons and tons.